Hello, good afternoon and welcome everybody. We are coming live here from St. Joseph Hospital and Marshfield Clinic in Marshfield, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Dr. Steve Jacobson. I'm a pediatric orthopedic surgeon at St. Joseph Hospital and Marshfield Clinic. And I'm your host here for today's program. In the next one hour, we will be discussing some new surgical alternatives for total hip replacement. Uh, joining us here today is first Dr. Jim Conrado. Uh, Dr. Conrado is an anesthesiologist at St. Joseph Hospital and Marshall Clinic and has a special interest in nerve catheter post-surgery. Sitting next to Dr. Conrado is Dr. Dave Simonstead. Dr. Simonstead is a Marshall Clinic and St. Joseph Hospital orthopedic surgeon who has special training in total hip replacement or uh, total joint replacement. And finally, we have Dr. Charles Kenny, who is also a St. Joseph Hospital and Marshfield uh, Clinic radiologist, who has specialty training in uh, joint and bone radiology. Welcome, everybody. Uh, during the program, you'll be able to send questions directly to the panel, and I'll be happy to answer it. Please uh, push the uh, icon, ask a question, and do that as soon as you would like to, and you'll be able to answer the question in that order they come in. Um, we will, on this uh, program here, uh, talk about the hip joint, and we'll talk about surgical alternatives to hip replacement. I uh, have a model of a hip here, and you can see the hip joint consists of a ball and socket joint. Here you have the ball, that's called the femoral head, and here they have a socket, or that's tablum, that is the socket which fits in, is completely round. You will also hear today's presentation, something called the femoral neck, which is the part of the bone that uh, connects the ball with the shaft. And both the ball here and the socket is covered by cartilage. And if that, for whatever reason, that cartilage is worn down, then the patient will develop arthritis. And arthritis is basically a condition where you have no or very little cartilage and you're almost bone on bone. And that will basically give uh, pain and good stiffness uh, in the patient's hip. And we do know that about 5% of all Americans over 55 years of age has a symptomatic hip arthritis. Could I get the first x-ray, or the first slide, please? <clears throat> And here we are, and you can see, we can see an x-ray of a hip here. And to your left is the patient's right hip, and you have an arrow. And the arrow is basically uh, pointing to the joint space. And you can see how narrow that is, where Dr. Kenny is showing it here, and how wide it is on the opposite side, which is basically representing osteoarthritis in the patient's hip. Uh, the treatment of osteoarthritis is usually conservative with anti-inflammatory drugs first, but very often as time goes by and the arthritis gets more pronounced, then the, uh, uh, then the medical treatment are not as effective anymore. So the solution then we have for arthritis in the hip is a total hip replacement. And we do know that there's over 200,000 total hip replacements taking place each year in the United States. On this x-ray, you can see an uh, uh, x-ray of a hip uh, joint here to the left that have a lot of arthritis with secondary changes. And to the right, you can see the same hip after surgery, where basically the ball and the neck is replaced by a metal stem, and also the socket is replaced by either metal or plastic or ceramic. <clears throat> the... Uh, Two procedures we are going to discuss here today is basically procedures uh, who is alternative to a total hip replacement. It is hip impingement and resurfacing. And with hip impingement is a condition with which there's an incongruency between the ball and the socket. 
you can see that it's completely round, have a very nice fit into it. But if there's any incongruency, that will say a bump here between the uh, neck and the, and the uh, uh, head, or either that the socket is too protruding, then you will see as, in, as the hips moves that uh, there will be uh, some incongruency. And that will cause pain. And untreated, that would usually lead to arthritis early on. Dr. Simons said will later uh, t- uh, tell us about the labrum, which is a seal that lays here that basically seals the hip joint off. That's like you have a meniscus in the knee. Uh, 